Welcome to Math with Mr. Almeida. Today's topic is on dividing by powers of 10, in particular uh, when some of those powers of 10s are decimal divisors. Uh, and a lot of, a lot of uh, talk has been uh, made about dividing by decimals, and this is a very confusing topic for a lot of people uh, because they're asked to uh, use a certain set of rules, but they don't really understand what those rules are, and sometimes if you forget what the rule is, then you really don't know how to solve the problem. So I'm going to introduce um, and review uh, the video that was talked about before. Um, it's called Divide by Powers of 10, and this is Divide by Powers of 10 with Decimal Divisors. It is very important to think about place value all the time, and to remember one fact that when you divide, you're also dividing, you're not only dividing the, um, the adjectives, the numbers themselves, but you're also dividing their place values as well. All right, let's focus on... Uh, getting some examples down. Okay, our first problem is uh, 25 hundredths. Um, and notice how the typical way for you to read this problem would be 0.25. Now, 0.25 doesn't tell you anything about this number. It just tells you that you have 25 of something. I don't know what it is. And so it's very important to talk about place value when you are going through this. So this is 25 Let's see, these are tenths, hundredths. So this is 25 hundredths divided by, this is 5 what? 5 tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So this is 5 thousandths, okay? And we're going to write that down. So this is 25 hundredths divided by, we said this was 5 thousandths. Okay. As before, we divide the, um, the adjectives themselves, the numbers themselves. So 25 divided by 5 equals 5. Essentially, you're asking how many times can 5 go into 25, and the answer to that is 5. Okay. And then hundredths divided by thousandths. You're asking yourself how many thousandths are there in a hundredth. And um, there are ten thousandths in a hundredth. Okay? So therefore, the answer to this problem is uh, ten. So ten is represented by one zero. Okay? So this is telling us that we have five what? Five tens. And the answer to that is fifty. So that's the answer to this problem. Twenty-five hundredths divided by five thousandths equals fifty. There are fifty five thousandths in twenty-five hundredths. That's what this is saying. Next problem. We have this number that looks like 32. Okay, it's 32 what though? It's 32, what place does it go to? 32 ones, and then we go to the decimal territory, which is tenths. So this is 32 tenths. 32 tenths divided by four ones. All right. Let's do our math, dividing the adjective first. 32 divided by 4 equals 8. In other words, 4 goes into 32 8 times. And now, tenths divided by 1s. Uh, how many 1s do you have in a tenth? Well, 1s are a greater denomination than tenths. In fact, if you look at the place value, uh, table, you have, these are ones here, tenths are over here to the right, and whenever you, and just know that um, the tenths, uh, it, it takes ten of any denomination to get to the next denomination. So uh, there are ten tenths that make up one, one, and how many ones do I have in a tenth? Well, I essentially have a tenth of a one in a tenth, okay? So how many ones do I have in a tenth? I have uh, a tenth. So therefore, these are eight tenths. And that's signaled by a tenth, okay? So the answer there is eight tenths.